Hey folks, welcome back to Law Creations. So I uh, just wanted to do a quick video and show you folks my pickups from Ollie's over probably the last uh, month, month and a half of my um, of action figures that I found just just uh, going through Ollie's and the majority of them were ten dollars, nine ninety nine. So it's a really great place to um to get discounted figures and i always try to i have one right near my work so after work i i usually just take a ride over there and i pick up some figures so yeah um also i made some i made some weights for this particular punisher 112 scale obviously doesn't have to be for the punisher i just wanted to play around so if i ever do an armory or a um uh, punish a hideout or anything like that I can I can have some weights displayed because I'm sure physical fitness for uh, the Punisher is very important so why not some weights anyway yeah made him in Tinkercad and I use a uh, wooden dowel to to play around and just try to get the scale right uh, I'm gonna be in the process of making a little bit bigger plates these these are almost perfect but i just wanted i just wanted to try a scale up so anyway let's get to what uh the video is about so at ollie's so i went today and i picked up today this figure here for 6.99 it's a, just a uh, cody rhodes um i'm i don't collect wrestling figures but i wanted to grab this one uh any any kind of suited figure I really uh, like to have in my collection he can he's a fairly big uh, figure and he can he can probably fit in a diorama nicely you can do what you want you can paint them or you know just give him a different look different head whatever it, there's so many options or you could just really like uh, you know wrestling and Cody Rhodes figures so I picked that one up today $6.99 on that one, which I thought was really cheap. Uh, today I picked up uh, Bo Katan. It's uh, the Mandalorian figure. This one looks really cool. I actually think I picked up two of these. I might have picked one up earlier, but this was, as you can see, $9.99. And it's, uh, it's a pretty cool figure for 10 bucks that I did not have. Uh, let's see. I picked this one up. I think last month this particular Marvel Legends uh, Mach 1 Model 1 Iron Man saw that for $9.99. I, I Couldn't beat it. I Thought that was a great price. So yeah to add to the Marvel Legends collection. I Grabbed this Golden Archive Are Salvatore the Legends of Drizzt Driz Drizzt I guess I have no idea who the character is, but it's Elvin, and I, I have an idea for a uh, for a custom to do for this particular uh, figure. Some swapping and then some adding of accessories. I'm going to try my hand at making a cloth cape. So, uh, never really made one, so I, I give it I give it a shot because the plastic one that comes with the figure is kind of. I mean, it's cool for what it is, but always like to you know level up the figures this one I picked up today from Mandalorian so axe woves I guess I just thought it was great I picked up two of these actually for $9.99 a piece and yeah just any any excuse to grab another Mandalorian for the collection so I went ahead and did that but yeah this is all at all these believe it or not I mean, are they overly expensive figures? Nope. But at the end of the day, they were only $9.99. So this uh, G.I. Joe Dusty was there for $9.99. Grab that one to go with my uh, classified series. This one I was really excited to get was the uh, Indiana Jones for $9.99. It was the last one. And I was I was pretty happy to get it. I'm I'm not really sure, you know, the quality of the figure, but I don't really. Uh, this is all nostalgic to me to have an Indiana Jones as, you know, 
the movies came out when I was younger. But yeah, this one was pretty cool. I was glad I was able to grab that. Another G.I. Joe character that I never really heard of, I grabbed uh, Z Zarana. So she looks pretty menacing. The head sculpt looks really great on this figure. Um, if you can see it there. Yeah, grab that one. Looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. This one here I strictly grabbed to do a custom. I thought, um, I don't even know who this is. Jackson, I have no idea. So forgive me for my lack of lore uh, knowledge when it comes to certain Star Wars. But uh, I thought that would be a great base body for a custom figure. That's just was my thinking. I really don't have an interest in displaying, I guess, is it a rabbit? I guess Greenford, Leppy, Smuggler, and Captain. Yeah, Captain of Rabbit's Foot. So that's a little information. But I had no desire for this figure. So I figured pop the head and can add some paint and add, add a helmeted character or, or face and add some paint and you have yourself a pretty cool figure. So that's why I grabbed that. I have the, uh, the third sister here. I grabbed at Ollie's. So Reva, 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 R E V A from the Obi Wan series, which was uh, really good. So yeah, I was able to grab her. Uh, let's see what else. I grabbed uh, Migs Mayfield without the uh, without the tank armor. So I grabbed that one today, and that one looks like a pretty cool figure. I watched a couple reviews on these figures, and overall they got pretty good reviews. But, uh, yeah, I just might have to review some of these. So, uh, I think I have two more to show. I grabbed this one I was surprised to see. That Echo from the Bad Batch. They had a bunch of these for $9.99, and I didn't have that one. So, I, I went ahead and grabbed that one. And last but not least... I have Mix Mayfield in the tank armor. So yeah, pretty awesome. So all these over the last month and a half at Ollie's, you know, for, for basically less than half the price. So yeah, I just want to share this with you guys, okay? And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your night and stay tuned for more of uh, some diorama process making, okay? Take care, guys.